A water battle is brewing in Idaho as bureaucrats shut down hundreds of farms and tell them that they're not allowed to pump water out of the ground. Flour mills shutting down due to lack of orders, and we have an update from Malaysia. More, and let's get into it. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade, and these are your updates. These are your reports coming in from around the world and across the United States letting us know what you guys are seeing at stores and what you're hearing at your workplaces. Please do keep sending your reports in. If you have an update you'd like to share with us, just post it into the comments section of this video or any video on this channel, uh, and that gets it to the right place if you use the word update. Please make sure you also give us a geographical location if at all possible. We do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. They help people who have retirement accounts to get out of gold uh, out of stocks and bonds into gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, they now have the, uh, the prepper card, uh, which is a silver card with the break off pieces. Um, you can put that into your retirement account, like an IRA or a 401k. That is a big deal out there. Um, and we're gonna be getting our hands on those and doing a giveaway uh, sometime soon. Uh, keep tuned for uh, when we can get those. Uh, if you want to get some more information from Jonathan and his team at Genesis Gold, there will be a link at the end of the video. All right, so let's go over to Idaho where this battle is brewing. This uh, water battle begins uh, in Idaho as owners of uh, 500,000 acres uh, around the Snake River are being ordered to shut down all wells. Not like just right along the river, but like the whole plateau area around the river. Uh, they're being ordered to shut down, not their pumping out of the river, shut down their wells and groundwater pumping. Yeah, just because you can pump it out of the ground doesn't mean you're allowed to nowadays, apparently. Not in Idaho. Now, what emergency has driven this? That's, that's a good question. I mean, if, it, if things are severe, maybe we need to do something like that. But they have good soil mo moisture. Uh, they have uh, dams still releasing spring snow melt. Their snow and rainfall this year has been above average. So uh, naturally, the bureaucrats have decided that, uh, that there needs to be emergency rationing of water, not just water from rivers, but water being pumped out of your own wells. Uh, why is this? Well, they declared that uh, one of the canals may experience a shortfall this year. One of the canals might experience a shortfall. Um, so they're deciding to shut down 1 million acre feet of uh, crop irrigation. Like I said, hundreds and hundreds of farmers. Instead of just fixing the canal, which loses a ton of water due to leaks. Uh, farms are to abandon crops and, or they're going to face steep fines. Over the last few years, the reservoir has been completely full. Um, even it was uh, completely full just uh, several months ago. So that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? But when you have bureaucrats in charge, it doesn't need to make sense. You just need to do what you're told. We, uh, we saw that during the cough, cough, right? They're like putting things that doesn't do anything. And then weeks later, they tell us that you need to do that because it's the only way we can save civilization. And uh, anyone who dared go, wait a minute, didn't you just say? They go, we're going to suspend your uh, rights to being on social media. Don't you dare quote us to us. We've erased that history. You need to pretend uh, that that doesn't exist anymore. Yep. History repeats itself. Um, good luck to you guys out in Idaho. Mike in Arizona says, uh, woke up last Sunday morning with full-blown pink eye. Went to a local urgent care and they prescribed me uh, polymyxin P. Uh, sorry, it's B trimethylprim something, eye drops. I've had these uh, several times over the years. I used to work in the uh, medical field. Our fries, which is owned by Kroger, 
Uh, their pharmacy did not have this in stock. I then had the prescription order sent over to CVS because, of course, they'll have it. But CVS did not have it in stock either. I was told it might be several days before they have the medication available. Four days later, the pink eye seems to be clearing up, although I will still purchase the eye drops for future use if and when they become available. Rather disconcerting. Yes, it is. The whole point of getting medication is to deal with the problem that you have, not, you know, not to get a piece of paper, but to actually get the medication, right? Casey uh, says, North Central West Virginia. Um, I'm doing my best to stockpile food, but why does it never seem like it's enough? When there are so many other overpriced requirements just for basic living, uh, pulling money, emptying my wallet. I had a lot more disposable income when T was president. Yep, yep. The fact that you feel threatened in the comment section to have to abbreviate his name, I find interesting. Anyone else find that interesting? Yep. When Trump was president, Seem to be better off, right? Uh, Kroger had uh, no store brand pastas yesterday. I had to buy the name brand imported uh, Elbow Mac that was 115% more in price. I'm sick of everything from car and health insurance to food and gasoline and electricity killing my disposable income. Anyone else upset? Anyone else tired of it? I hate to say this, friends, but um, getting T back in office isn't going to fix things. I said it, I said it a bunch of years ago, and I've been saying it for a while. It's like we've been uh, riding in the car, and um, a number of years ago we went off the cliff, and ever since then we've been in free fall. And the only solution is to enjoy the ride because. When we hit the ground, it's going to be an absolute disaster. And there ain't no stopping it. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take before we hit the bottom. Brace as best you can. Curly Hair Soprano says, uh, Northeast Ohio, local BJ's wholesale. No canned coconut milk. No pineapple. Lunch cups. I know these are not popular items, but I found it very strange because I couldn't I could get them a month ago, but not anymore. God's Prepared Warrior says, uh, Steve, I have a friend who works at Pioneer Flour in uh, a flour mill in San Antonio, Texas. He has uh, shared with me that his company is telling them to go home because there is no work sometimes. Before the pandemic, this company would work almost every day and their employees would have overtime all the time to catch up with orders. Uh, here lately, he has been out of work uh, due to no orders being ordered from the flour mill. Everything's slowing down business-wise. Jobs are pulling back. The economy is not well. I don't care what they tell you on the mainstream media. The economy is not doing well. Madam K in Northeast Wisconsin I bought a five pound bag of onions from our local grocery. Uh, they look like sponges of an off-white inside. I took the, uh, the, took the four, I cut in half, and the rest, uh, I took the rest of the bag back. She asked if I wanted to exchange them. I said no. I went home and pulled two from the garden. They were small, but they didn't look like a sponge. Quality is dropping out there, that's for sure. Allison says, uh, grocery shopping today, my store uh, got rid of an entire row of produce shelves and replaced replace them with cardboard boxes of four kinds of produce instead. So the entire row down to just four different kinds in cardboard boxes. The shelves are getting shorter and shorter. They used to be six foot tall shelves in the store. Now, my five foot three self is the same height as their shelving. Lower shelves, shorter shelves, thinner shelves. We're watching. 
we're noticing. Sa uh, Saya from uh, Malaysia says, finally, the Malaysian government is dismantling subsidies of rice, gasoline, and many de necessary items by the end of the month. Interesting, uh, whereas a lot of Americans are like, where are our subsidies? We need subsidies. But uh, the dirty truth is when you're getting subsidized, you have shortages then because people are getting stuff for free and why wouldn't they? Or getting significantly discounted. Citizens may feel the pain in grocery spending and hopefully it will not affect our country's political stability. So there is that concern there too. Uh, a number of countries out there use uh, subsidies in order to kind of placate the population. You know, the whole bread and circuses kind of thing. And nowadays, the modern equivalent of that is to discount bread, discount fuel, so that people can get it for very, very cheap. That's what they do in the semi-communist countries out there. Uh, standing on faith, says uh, Florida Panhandle. Walmart had good stock, except the cereal was very low, even the $5 a box boxes. <laughs> uh, there was only uh, two boxes of the three pound elbow noodles and other pastas were low. Milk has been spotty and other dairy items also. I am hearing a bunch of reports coming from you guys from all over about issues with elbow or macaroni. So be aware that it looks like we are having a little bit of a shortage of elbow macaroni out there. Uh, so if you are needing that in the near future, make sure you go grab some. Now you probably should have some Mylar bags uh, or shrink wrapped uh, like vacuum sealed stuff uh, full of macaroni because that's a very useful thing to have. Uh, so hopefully you have macaroni already in your preps. If you don't, uh, might wanna stock up on that because well, at least in the near term, you might not be able to find it. Anna says, uh, only five bottles total of avocado oil at Hannaford's in Midcoast, Maine. PF says, uh, frozen vegetables at Walmart in Southwest Michigan, low frozen potatoes, low frozen bread products, low catsup or ketchup, uh, low eggs, low ramen, low bullion, uh, low wheat, uh, flour and is getting hard to, to get. Uh, Sandra says, uh, I went, when I lived in Beloit, uh, Wisconsin, uh, years ago, I watered my garden entire backyard with my garden hose. The next day, the entire garden was dead. I had to replant the entire backyard. With the chlorine, that's not good, but you can you can um, air it out and then use the water on the garden. But once again, with the chloramine, you have to get the chloramine out of the water uh, before you can put that on plants, use it in your fish tanks, or in some cases even uh, it's not the best for your pets. All right, remember use UV light or expose it to sunlight in order to break it down. Uh, that will make it uh, better for those uses before you put it on your garden and such. All right, friends, if you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold, uh, there is a link right there. You can click on the link and they will reach out to you and you can ask them whatever your questions are. Uh, there's no commitment, of course. Uh, you're just getting some more information from them. If you do call them directly, make sure you do mention this channel so they do waive your setup fee in case you do decide to move forward with them. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. I'll see you over there, or I'll see you guys later. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.